Sarah from iStampin.com. Thanks for joining me on day four of 12 days left of celebration. And I wanted to show you this fun little gift card holder that I made. I am using the BYOP stamp set that's in the Occasions catalog, and it stands for Buy Your Own Present. And this is such a fun um, stamp set to have because you can decorate the front and then there's something to include inside. So this is a fun, really uh, just a great stamp set to have, especially with graduation coming up. So this is in the occasions catalog. I'm going to be using the Bermuda Bay sequin trim. This is also in our occasions catalog. Um, and then this designer series paper, that's in our uh, annual catalog. And this is the Confetti Celebration Designer Series Papers. And then the gift card envelope and trim trims thinlet dies. Uh, this was originally in our uh, holiday catalog that carried over to occasions. So um, that's a great thing. So if you didn't get it during the holiday, you can still pick it up now. All right, well, let's get started. What we're gonna be using is Smoky Slate. So this is just an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock that I've cut down to um, six and a half. And I am just going to lay the thinlet like so, and then I'm gonna run this through my Big Shot. So once I've run it through, this is the way it comes. And the nice thing is, is that it's already scored for you. Okay, and then as you can see in my sample, I did some stamping on the front. Um, this is, you can, you know, obviously this can be the front or this can be the front. So I'm, I'm designing, uh, or I decorated this side of it with the flap showing. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wanna do some stamping up here. But what I wanna do is I wanna mask off the top part. And I am using the star the little sketched star from the Something to Say stamp set. So this is in our annual catalog. So I'm using that image right there. And I am stamping that in Smoky Slate, which gives this a tone on tone effect. So you're just gonna randomly stamp on this flap. You can stamp off so it looks more organic. And just however many you think looks good. Do one more right here and down here. Okay, that looks good. So when we close it, it will look like so. And here you can see these fun little banner pieces and that is using another die from um, the gift card envelope and trim thinlet dies. So it looks like this. And I just cut off um, a real small strip of the designer series paper, that confetti celebration. And I'm just gonna cut out two of these um, in my big shot. So here's my two little banners. And I am, I'll put these on a little bit later and I'll just cut them to um, two different lengths so that one overlaps and kind of has a layered effect. But uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do this stamping. And like I said, that um, the thanks so much comes from the BYOP stamp set. You can see it right here. And then I'm gonna use another part of the, um, gift, the gift card dies is this other little banner piece. So I am going to stamp this in Tangelo Twist. And all these colors that I'm using are is coming from the designer series paper. So I love that the colors are already um, chosen for me. So it takes that guesswork out. All right, and so then I'm just gonna run, just lay it like that, and I'm gonna run this through the big shot. So we've got all the pieces that we need cut out with the dies. And so what I'm gonna do next is Get some of the sequin trim. And here again, I'm just gonna temporarily close, well, just pretend that there's a gift card in there. And I'm closing that. And I'm just gonna take um, the sequin trim and just cut enough off where it just goes right on the front of the card, or the gift card. And then I'm gonna use my crystal effects and just put a thin line of glue 
on the front. And then I'm going to bring in my um, banners that I cut out from the pattern paper or from the designer series. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut the excess of the sequins off. Okay, so I just trimmed off the bottom of the sequin. So the next thing that you will want to do is to get your wide baker's twine. And I am just going to wrap it around twice um, to go along with this video. And so uh, what you need to do is between now and the last day of celebration, which is uh, Tuesday, March 31st, if you spend uh, less than $150 in my online store, uh, you want to attach that hostess code to your order, and then you will be entered into um, possibly be my mystery hostess. So what I plan on doing is on um, April the 1st, I will do a random drawing, and whoever I pick will earn all of the hostess dollars that um, has accumulated in my store. So that's a great way for me just to say thank you for supporting me during celebration, and um, that's just, I just want to do that for y'all. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to do is, okay, so I tied the bow, and then I cut the tails, and then I'm just going to use some dimensionals and put this on the back. And then I will just pop it up. So if y'all have any questions about any of the products that I've used today, please just leave a comment and I will be more than happy to help you out. If you have any questions on how to use the hostess code, same thing. Um, I do have a video that I recorded at the beginning of my series that shows how to use it. But um, if you have any questions, you know, please don't hesitate to ask. All right, guys, so there's you a fun and little, uh, you know, sparkly gift card holder. In my sample, you see I added some sequins here that um, when I trimmed it, some just kind of fell off. So you can do that too. You can just uh, use your crystal effects, just put little dabs of glue and just um, put those sequins there. So I hope y'all enjoy this project. It's fun and um, I don't know, I think I like the, the gray and the, the blue and orange. All right, ladies, have a great day. Bye.